Divine True Spirit Discussions Discussions with people who have lived on Earth and who have now passed into the spirit world. Jesus and Mary provide further assistance to Anthony, a man who exploited people on Earth. The session was recorded on the 14th of January 2016 in Wilkesdale, Queensland, Australia. Hi again, myself and Mary are today doing quite a lot of mediumship. That's our last <laughs> bit of mediumship that we were doing before the group that would be recorded anyway. We do a lot of mediumship privately, but, but it would be the last that's recorded. But this time, Anthony, who we spoke to, I think it was only a week or so ago, um, or maybe more than that, I can't remember. So, so much has happened since uh, maybe a couple of weeks, um, has wanted to come and ask a few more questions, which, which I invited him to do when we first talked, so that's what we're going to do now. Hi. G'day mate, how you doing? Not that great. No. Oh, I'm feeling in a lot of pain. Yeah. Feeling really low. Yeah. I just wondered if you can help me. Sure. Sure we can. Uh, stop doing the stuff. Good, oh, that's really good. Help me, <coughs> and I just. It's been pretty tough since then. Yeah. Tough in what way? Oh, I don't know. Just. You've had a lot of physical hurts. pain. Yep. Yeah. The physical. And it, can I explain why you've got the physical pain? Physical pain is the result of you avoiding the emotional pain. Does that yeah. make sense to you? Yeah, it makes sense. Well, I've got a lot of emotional pain too, but... But you're not allowing yourself to feel it. Right. Okay. When you allow yourself to feel it, it releases from you. Yeah. And particularly if you ask God for forgiveness for the things that, that you that are put in front of you, there are things you're recalling, the recollections yeah. you have, and you just ask God for forgiveness and allow yourself to feel the emotion, the problem is that you're shutting down the emotion. Yeah. Do you know why you're I, shutting it down? I uh, just, I don't know. I like, uh, I know I've done the wrong thing. Right. I know from what you said and I, Rob helped me and now I to see things. Yeah. It just doesn't feel fair, you know. I, I feel like I've done all this wrong, but what about all the wrong that was done to me, you know? Well, um well, there's two issues there. One is the issue of repentance and the other is the issue of forgiveness, right? If you think about it, the reason why you chose to do the things you did wrong was because you were unwilling to feel the emotions of what other people did to you in the first place. Can you see the relationship between those two things? Do you understand uh, what I'm saying? I don't know. No. You see, what happened was when you were harmed on earth, right? Yeah. And, and you were put in quite powerless places on earth. And you were treated very abusively. Right? Yeah. And because you are unwilling to feel about that, you're unwilling to cry about that. You, you, it's pretty hard to cry about that all the time when it's happening. Uh, I, I, yeah, I agree. On earth, it would have been very hard for you to cry about it when it was happening. But I'm talking about after you passed, you... You could have chosen to cry about it then because yeah. it wouldn't have continued happening. And so you could have chosen to cry about it then. Does that make sense? Yeah. But you chose to not cry about it and instead to do the same thing to others as what had been done to you. Do you, you see? So, so the reason why... And I, didn't, I don't think that I did as bad to other people. Like I didn't... I didn't... I agree. I did... I was doing what they wanted still like i wasn't people but, but did stuff to me it. that really hurt and oh. i didn't have any control over i get that but but you did choose to do bad things to others yeah well right. by giving them yeah and i can you yeah. choose to take you chose to exercise your power over others yeah, just like okay. somebody had exercised power over you not to the same degree so I'm not saying it's to the same degree. And you've already met the persons who harmed you and you know where they yeah, are. Yeah. So you can see that 
that where they are is a much worse place than where you are now. Yeah. Isn't that not true? Yeah. 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 So you can see, so, so the only thing, there's only two things that limit your progress. One thing is refusing to feel sorry about the things you've done. Does it make sense? Yeah. Which I feel you're already beginning to do, which is very good. But the other thing is refusing to cry about what's been done to you and ask God. Is that why I'm getting stuck? Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, you're getting stuck because you, you still don't want to cry about what's been done to you. You want to be angry about it. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that's why you're getting stuck. And, and Bob probably would have already explained that to you, I think. Not quite that succinctly, perhaps. Yeah, no, I probably did. I was just, yeah. just struggling with it, yeah, but yeah. thanks for saying. So the key here is to not judge yourself so much. Right? So when you feel repentant, there's a tendency for most people to go into self-punishment or self-attack. Self Mm. rather than just to feel sorry for what they've done. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, that, so the key is just to let yourself feel sorry for what you've done rather than wanting to attack yourself for what you've done. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the second thing that needs to happen, and this is the real cause of why you chose to do what you did, the real cause is that other people harmed you and then you did not cry about it. You chose to prevent it and to prevent the tears. Does that yeah. make sense? So that's why, that's why this. And that's why you feel exhausted because okay. when you fight your tears, it's a very exhausting process. If you allow your tears to flow, it'll be short and, and intense, but, but as the tears flow out, you'll start to feel connected to yourself again and you'll start to feel like you're okay again. Does that make sense? Like you're on the road again. You'll feel like you're on the road to progress again. Do you follow me? Yeah. So, so what's happening is every time you get close to feeling an emotion that's related to the harm that was done to you, you want to get angry rather than just feel sad about it. Because I've been feeling sad about what I've done to others you know, a bit. Yeah. Um, but the real cause of what you did to others is this this trying to shut down what was done to you. Do you see? Yeah, because I've been feeling like I'm feeling bad, but why doesn't it get better? Yeah. Yeah, so what, uh, I'm explaining what... So yeah, the, I get it. You Thanks. get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I get it. So what, 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 what I'm about to help you do is to, to, to still to see that the real reason why you chose to do the things you chose to do after you passed was because of what happened to you before you passed. And with this addition, and that is that you refused to cry about what happened before you passed. You wanted to feel powerful. You wanted to feel strong. You didn't want to feel that bad, you see. Mm. And in the process of shutting down the sadness and shutting down the fear, you then chose to act out of harmony with love towards others. And all this pain I'm feeling, is that because I, is it because I've done bad to others and I just got to feel it because it's punished. Like it's no, the pain you're feeling is the result of you choosing to not feel what's being done to you. So it's just about me, what I have done. And also not feel what has been done to others. You, you're trying okay. to shut down your feelings about what has happened. You're trying to manage them. Okay. Does that make sense? That's what's causing your pain. Okay. The key is to give up managing them. And it's a bit of a process to go through to give it up, you know, like just it's like a process of surrender. Does that make sense? Imagine if you're in a war of some kind, you're still sort of in the battle. You're, okay. you're still trying to prevent, and, and, and the war is with the emotion. So you're trying to battle your emotions. Mm. You're trying to fight them. You How on? do I stop fighting them? You give up. And this is where you can pray to God and just ask for God's help to help you just give up the battle. Does that make sense? 
to give up fighting again, fighting the emotions you felt when you're on earth. Just give okay. up fighting them. So and ask God. Ask God. Always go back to God. Always. Okay. And always, and ask God to help you find whatever it is that causes you to want to keep fighting, and just let, just give it up. Ask God to help you give it up emotionally. Okay. Give it up. All right. Now, now, can I point, give you a few pointers as to why you're not doing that? Mm-mm. Because there were beliefs in your childhood that were established that if you cry, you would get hurt more. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So this is a big feeling that you have that if you let yourself cry, somebody's going to hurt you more. Yeah. And this is your primary emotional block to letting yourself surrender. Do you follow? Yeah. Yeah. And you can feel that, can't you? Yeah. So just yeah. pray about, pray to God about help to just feel that that feeling that you had when you were little, mm. that that if you cried, that it would just get worse. Yeah. Thanks, mate. And that will help you make this breakthrough into just letting the emotions flow. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. That's all. I, that's all I wanted. Thanks. Yeah, that's Thanks. Good. And Bob will come and help when you if you yeah. need that help. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to talk to you about it. It's good that you come to ask the question because you don't want to stay in the state you're in, you know, okay. where you're trying to shut that down all the time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. See ya. See ya, mate.